Clearly showing that if Donald Trump will be the president because of his good connections with Netanyahu and Netanyahu with Putin, the world will look different. Some say that even Putin will not invade Ukraine. But this is how the situation should be. According to Torah, we saw, right? But unfortunately, there was a leftist Democrat anti Torah against the laws of the Torah. In Israel, the leftists. God is a reform, all this against the Torah. So we see the terrible situation that we are living in because of this. So look in this very interesting table, very, very significant one, shows how these three presidents could work together and change the world. In the table that you are going to see now, very significant one, you will see all of them that you see here coming together. You will see Donald Trump appears in the table. You will see Putin appears in the table. And you see Netanyahu. All of them appear together. Right? It was a good time when all of them worked together before this situation now with Biden and Bennett. Yeah. It was very idealistic time when Putin and Netanyahu were very close friends and also Donald Trump and Putin. Now this table is an unbelievable table. It means nobody can argue. <laughs> what you need for it, no, not mathematician, not statistics. You need common sense. The only thing, and you will realize yourself that this table far away from big coincidence and the Message, a uh, very important message. Really, unfortunately, showing that we miss, we miss the opportunity of peace, happiness, and joy in the whole world. So, what you have here? The first thing you have here, a table which appears in one book, Dalit is the first one, numbers, and it appears in the end of chapter. Ten. and start with most of the chapter 11. So think to yourself. In fact, basically, it was a 56 line, uh, letter in the line. So, a table which appears in one and a half chapters in the books of Numbers. And to have all of this here, and all of them are connected, and are not one word here, one word like people are doing it now. Because it's one of the strongest examples how Bible code table should see to be an important one to show how the Torah, which is the blueprint of creation, the five foot of Moses, the blueprint of creation, everything is there. And no doubt there is a big message here in this Torah. No, definitely is to understand and to appreciate it, one have to look at it properly with patience. Not all, I see that people have it, but if one will really look into it properly, will check everything. And in fact, I tried already to see that you have your many million best meetings so let us see what we missed what we missed in fact there is also the word repentance shuva here but the fact that the Torah brings it it means that it was really potentially so let us see now what you have here the first thing you have here in the center i mean parallel very important the word nasi president and you have Arsota Breed, the United Nations, and you have Trump. Here you can see Trump in black, Trump, and then you have again Nasi. Yeah, like we have Nasi here, there is a Nasi, the president of Russia, of Russia, and who is this one? Putin. Yeah, Putin, you can see in black, Putin, and in fact, 
is share the letter pay of Trump. Unbelievable. So you have Putin here. Yeah, Putin. Look inside there. And then you can see it really better if you look at pay. Vav, Tet, Yud, Nun. You know, clearly, Putin. So Putin comes here. Full writing of Putin with the, really, with the Aleph. Then you have full writing of Trump with the Aleph also. And then you have, you have parallel, which is very significant, president of the state. And with this one, Trump, which comes here, Trump, unbelievable. Then you have this side, president of Russia, of Russia, Putin. Adam, all of them belong to Adam, we know quite well, especially the Russia. Here you have something also interesting, Perle, to remind us that there is somebody like Cyrus. Cyrus was a Persian king who well, helped Israel, if you know the story, he even gave the permission to settle and to build the temple. And he believed, believed in God, and God called him in Isaiah 45, Cyrus, my, Cyrus, my Messiah. Clearly, you can see in the 45 chapter in Isaiah in the beginning. Amazing. So, exactly, Donald Trump is the same thing. He recognized Israel. He came to Jerusalem. He believed in God, in the, God he believed in the prophecies. So, exactly, he was a Cyrus. In the American value, Gimatia was the son of Jesse. That means that he will be son of Jesse. But it means that he helped, I think it was son of David, but he will help the son of David to come. Unbelievable. Now, who more you have here? This is under you have the basis of the table. You have one of the best meetings of Messiah and Messiah. And who's there on top? You have Nathan. They are letter after letter, clearly showing the connection. Yeah? The basis of these meetings of all these presidents of Russia and of the state. Basis is Netanyahu, no doubt. And Messiah Tmas, you have son, Messiah, son of Joseph, son of Jesse. And basically there is some connection between <laughs> Netanyahu, son of Joseph. Okay, but as I said, there's such a table with such significant words will come here. And definitely Moses and Eliza will come together with Messiah. It is now. Yeah. Moses and Eliza will come together with Messiah and Netanyahu. Now, if you, all, you go in all these verses, I mean, I did not go into it, but in, if you look in chapter 11, 12 verse onwards, you see that so many interesting, significant tables in the, in the not the tables, but verses in the Torah, which tell you clearly and part the importance of Israel and by keeping the Torah, we are saying that the essence of Jews, Israel, is keeping the Torah, and if not keeping the Torah, <laughs> There are lots of troubles, everything comes here. So, as I said, I think that uh, <laughs> as I ask people who don't need statistics, because if I remember, I told you many times that this program that you see all the Torah letter after letter, yeah, we know this is the way of Bible Kodak. Eight hundred years ago, Ben Bachia, according to this, found the secret of the birth of the moon. You can see it in our site with Professor Robert Aralek, Torako.us, unbelievable. <laughs> Hundreds of years. Jews knew exactly the birth of the moon every month, and the NASA knew it only a few years ago, when they could go around the moon with the satellites. <laughs> so the difference, if you see there in, our, in the, the site of Professor Aralek, you will see that it's a matter of a few seconds, or even a split second. So unbelievable, this was really a secret one. This was really the basis of Rabbi Basmendal findings about the codes in the Torah. But you have in Kabbalah, Moshe Kodevero, Abu Lafi, all of them mention this idea of Bible code. 
So, as I said, very important table, very significant in one book. This was important. I told you that this was the problem that you see this is Dr. Alexander Rottenberg with a scientist who came from Russia to Israel. He met Professor Yisru, told him about this phenomenon, five books of Moses, which have this course. He checked them properly, and he realized it is the truth. He became Orthodox Jews, he summoned said everything, and he made this program. He wrote also a book about the course. All is true. So, important tables, I said, and the location of the Torah is also very significant. Because there is clearly a situation when God says to the Jewish people, yeah, you must know if you don't keep the Torah, so you're in danger of uh, disaster, exactly in this danger we have today. So whatever it is, as I said, very, very strong table, very significant one, and clearly showing us that we are now in time so it will not Messiah, but what we can do when the Maimonides, the Rambam says, any Israel Nigalim, Israel will not be ready unless they do Shuba. And if not, says the Maimonides, God will look for it, they will do Shuba. Yeah. Who knows if it, it is not 150,000 missiles on the north and records in the south, or the bomb which is going to come just now from Iran. Yeah. We know quite well that these people are serious. They believe that the Messiah cannot come, and they believe that Israel is a stumbling block for their Messiah in this time. So they are doing everything to destroy Israel. They say it clearly. They are not ashamed. That is, uh, no, Biden and Obama, uh, they are not so impressed by this, but the truth is that this is the truth. Yeah. They want to buy part Israel, like Haman. This is Amanai. In fact, the Talmud tells us in Tractate, Sanhedrin, page 97, A, that really the situation will be that if the Jews will not do repentance, will not return to the Torah, keeping the Shabbos willingly, God will appoint upon them a very cruel leader like Haman. And we have a Manahi. It is also not, it is not also coincidence that Hamanahi and Haman are very close. Why? Because according to Zahari, Rabbi Zekluya, the letters A, M, M, N, N, Haman are very, very strong, harsh judgment. Yeah, M, 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 N, S, P, A. Exactly as we are now, yeah, not at all. Yeah. Simple situation, people don't realize it. Yeah, you know, I think they can dedicate the Shabbat, can do against God, like this government of today, heresy government, fighting against the Torah never will such a terrible government. But also, the Talmud in Genesis, in the Sanhedrin, in the same page, brings that before the Messiah will be a government of heresy, because this is a Satan. The Satan feels that his end is coming, so he's doing everything to disturb, yeah. So, as I said, very significant table and a very important message. So if you want Messiah, you want peace in the world? Yeah, there's one way. You have to keep the Torah. When you keep the Torah, then peace, quiet, tranquility, happiness, and joy will come to the whole world.